In California this week, federal prosecutors are trying to do something that no law enforcement agency has been able to do, break up one of the nation's most violent prison gangs. On trial, facing racketeering charges, are 13 leaders of a group known as La M, Spanish for the letter M, which stands for Mexican Mafia. But in this case, it also stands for murder. ABC's Ken Kashibahara has had a rare opportunity to see the gang at work. As gangland executions go, this one was especially vicious. Five people shot to death, including a five-year-old and a baby. Prosecutors say it was ordered by the Mexican Mafia to make an example of gang members who were disloyal. There's no type of murder that can be conceived of that, that would be unusual for a Mexican Mafia member. Ramon Mendoza, a former member now in the Witness Protection Program, was recruited into the Mexican Mafia while serving time for murder in California's San Quentin prison. He had decapitated a rival gang member with a machete. The Mexican Mafia, bar none, is the most violent uh, prison gang in the system. When we walked the yard, we, uh, we feared no one. We feared not the guards, not the inmates around us. That violence is no longer confined to prisons. Now the gang is using the same ruthlessness to control drug distribution throughout Southern California's Latino communities. That viciousness was captured in the movie American Me. But prosecutors say gang leaders found the movie insulting and ordered the murder of neighborhood activist Anna Lizarraga, who served as a technical advisor and had a bit part in the film. Lizarraga was gunned down in her driveway. The outside world is like a playground for us. When we're out on the streets, we have no regard for human life. Just how little regard is made clear in this FBI surveillance video at a meeting of Mexican Mafia leaders. Somebody wants to kill them, kill them. But I figured we could get some use out of them in the meantime and then take them out. The Mexican Mafia is far more than a street gang. It is a very powerful and well-organized group of long-standing that really exerts control over other street gangs throughout the Hispanic community. It is their discipline and organization that makes it difficult for police to combat. One stronghold, Ramona Gardens in East Los Angeles, home of a street gang called Hazard, a gang controlled by the Mexican Mafia. So they carry out their executions here? Oh, without a doubt. Sergeant Raymond Montijo, who has been on the gang beat for years, says the Mexican Mafia rules neighborhoods and their street gangs through fear. Are you guys members of Hazard? See what I mean? Yeah. They're afraid to talk, and if some guy talks, they'll do him in. Mexican Mafia members are not afraid to kill because they don't fear the punishment. By trying them in federal court, prosecutors hope to break up the gang. They'll move the leaders out of California and disperse them throughout the federal prison system. But those who study gangs wonder if that will simply spread the problem. Ken Kashwahara, ABC News, Los Angeles.